Hi guys, it's great to be here with you today. Oh, I am cooking in the kitchen. What, what is on my counter? Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Is she not delicious? This is what we're serving up today. Hey, hey Andy, look, look, you're on camera. Oh, how incredibly cute you are. She's helping me cook. I'm cooking mm -hmm. one of my recipes from menu pause i know it's so cute it's much cuter over there so in menu pause making up the chicken and bacon cruciferous stir fry oh yeah you guys don't want to see that you want to see her right totally cute what do you think oh she's like oh it smells so good oh no wait i'm burning stuff okay hold on let's get this turn down the heat over here forgot I was cooking and I got distracted. So a little bit behind in my menu making today, you guys, we are doing menu pause, keto green. Um, extreme is the plan that I'm going through this week. And I know we've got some keto green cleansers out there, carbohydrate pausers. I saw someone doing the plant-based program. Oh, okay. You want to look at her again? What? Oh, Jeannie. I know, right? Like, look. Oh, you just wait, Jeannie. You just wait. Look at that. You will. I'm so excited for you too, Jeannie, and new grandma to be. All right. So I wanted to cook in the kitchen with you guys. And um, we've got a lot going on here at the Quebec household. There's been, it's been a lot of stuff going on. So I'm cooking up the meat and the bacon. And I am running behind today, so normally I have it really well prepared. One of the things that has come up is hydration, because if you're dehydrated, you're going to be acidic. Your urine, you need hydration for cellular health and cellular function. And all right, heat a large nonstick skillet over medium high heat. When the skillet is hot, add the bacon. My skillet is way hot right now, like you guys, way hot. All right. So, but I was saying that a little behind today, I've been back to back meetings scheduled in things that weren't on my calendar. I had scheduled in and forgot to put them on my calendar. So I'm a little behind in prepping today. So definitely want to talk about some of the things that are going on in your um, diet plan, how you're doing with menu pause. Have you brought other people into menu pause with you? Ha! Huh? I, I just have so much fun saying that. Brittany, hey, join me here for a second. Are, are you in menu pause? Are you in menu pause? <laughs> yeah, are you in menu pause? Oh, look. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so funny. Yes, you're in menu pause. So um, you guys being and look at little Andy over there. She's so in cute. menu pause too. <laughs> yes, she is. And this is the reason I am. I've overheated the oil. I've got to calm it down now. So we got a lot of good things going on. Jeannie said uh, 23 more weeks. She's counting down for her grandmommy title. Um, Colleen said, Dallas of the green trees outside. And it's so cold in Minnesota. Well, come down to Dallas, Colleen. Uh, Hanel said, "We uh, she's so beautiful and we share the same birthday. February 21, really? Edith, ah, I know, so cute, so cute. You guys, I um, Diane wrote, I'm in menu pause. Yay, that is so good. I love, I love seeing that. So um, December, I'm sorry, December Chill said, Dr. C, do you think there is any correlation with overactive bladder in perimenopausal women? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely there is. So I would definitely pay attention to that. And certainly addressing like no caffeine, try doing our plans in menu pause and see if there are some foods that are affecting you creating overactive, overactive bladder. And um, what we want to do is also can use Jolva, Jolva clitoris to anus. That is critically, I mean, really makes a big, big difference. All right, let me um, get this bacon on the because I have company coming for dinner too. When you're in menu pause, people just show up. I'm telling you. 
I can find the knife. Where did I put the knife, Andy? Huh. Oh. And water, hydration. Be sure you're drinking plenty, plenty of water. This is my sparkling water. I use the ARC water um, sparkling system. I don't know what you call it. But I use this thing here, and it creates great sparkling water. I like heavy sparkling. Not light sparkling, heavy sparkling. So that's my heavy sparkling water and put it in my cocktail class, which normally would have maybe some tequila. Let's see, you could put it in a wine glass. Sometimes it's just changing out the glass you're drinking from. Oh, Debbie wrote, all the recipes have been delicious. Tonight I made the salmon and broccoli slaw. Awesome. And tonight I'm making chicken and bacon cruciferous stir fry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pascalis wrote, my husband is in menu pause. He loved the cauliflower and leek soup. Oh my gosh. That is so fun. All right. I got to get this bacon on here. And I am using, I am using um, a, a wok type skillet for everything. I'm going to put everything in together. So this is my wok type skillet. I got it at Bucky's. You guys are from the South. You've likely been to a Bucky's. If you don't know what a Bucky's is, let me know in the comments. But I'm telling you, Bucky's is amazing, amazing. And yeah, I'm a foodie. I love eating. Um, Brittany, if any questions come up, please be sure to to say to tell me what those questions are. How you doing over there, Andalisa? You good? Yes, ma'am. I think I'm gonna have to cook a lot faster and I can't find my other um so I'm making extra I'm going above and beyond the the recipe amounts the quantities you can really like sometimes you've got to make substitutions play with the recipes a little bit uh Brittany would you text your sister Amanda and ask her where she put the Brussels sprouts <laughs> yes I will okay <laughs> Like, I know there's something. Like I said, I'm a little bit far behind. And then I'm going to be just slicing up some of the chicken. We have a lot of people coming over. So have you guys made recipes um, and shared it? I shared um, the shepherd's pie. And that is the Georgia buffalo bison shepherd's pie. It's really amazing. So definitely that's such a good one to share. You can make extra casseroles. So Colleen said, I love Bucky's. Judy says, I'm glowing. Thank you. Um, Venus said, oh, sparkling water bottle. And Brittany put it in the um, comments here. It's ARK, A-A-R-K-E. And Colleen said, we would drive the 18 hours to... Get to one. Tell Bucky's. That's so funny. Okay. So um, how are you guys doing? Put in the chat box if you're in menu pause. How are you guys doing? Um, Shirley said, hey, I'm starting menu pause. I'm hypothyroid, weight loss resistant. Which plan is best? I love your plan ideas. I'm, I'm just starting. Excited too. Well, welcome. Welcome, Shirley. And it sounds like you're a cook. So I'd love, I'd love for you to dig in and let me know what you love too and, and what you really are enjoying. And I, I think it's a good place to start if like you're not sure not one plan screams out to you like, hey, start with me here. Or you've done the menu pause quiz and you can do that at dranna.com forward slash MP quiz. And then I would go ahead and start with Keto Green Extreme, the plan that I'm doing. So Hold on, you guys. I got to stop what I'm doing. Check in on baby. My sous chef in the kitchen. There we go. There we go. You doing good, Angelica? You doing good? I got to wash my hands. Yeah. You doing good. So good. Oh, my gosh. All right. My little sous chef. So good. Brittany, who's watching, is... Um, getting some 
sweet Annie time in with that one. <laughs> yes. Right. So, Brittany, you want to read the instructions and the recipe for me? Sure, yeah. Any and, questions? Uh, oh, wait. Um, Pascala says, doing great, five pounds down in Keto Green Extreme, second round, but a lot of external stress, so haven't released as much as I usually do. Oh my gosh, the fact that you're doing this, it's awesome. And uh, bonjour, Fassi. She says, oh my God, cutie pie baby, sous chef. And Kelly says, how old is that adorable baby? My grandbaby, my niñeta, my niñeta is two months old, two months old. And she's amazing. So she's helping me in the kitchen here. She's part of the reason I'm running behind today, actually. So, you know, like there is that. There is that. So she's part of that reason. Anyone uh, watching have a grandbaby, have a um, uh, a little a little sous chef helping out, actually. So cooking up, uh, Brittany, you want to read the recipe instructions to me? He Yes. And which... Uh which recipe are we doing again? Baking cruciferous stir fry. I was going to do the cabbage um, bratwurst today, but you know, and I actually last yesterday I ate the avocado salad, the salmon tower, but I converted that to a shrimp tower because we had to switch up the salmon and the shrimp um, for Sunday's recipe. So anyway, so I um, had enough and was full and I had both raw for dinner yesterday. So this is, um, and I kind of still on strike in the household here a little bit. Anyone ever have to go on strike with your children? <laughs> All right, so where, where are you at right now step-wise? So I know what- Oh, yeah. just, just start from the top. And let me just see, okay, Mary said, um, she has a two and a half month old, uh, comes to spend the day tomorrow. Please post, Mary. Venus is doing great, not hungry one bit. Kefta from Sarah's Bakery tonight, 8.4 pounds down. Wow. wow. Amy said the cruciferous stir fry is one of my favorites. Dr. Anna, I was surprised that my veggie aiding, hating husband actually loved it. Amy, did you tell your husband that he is now officially in menu pause? <laughs> oh my gosh. So good. So funny. Um, Shirley wrote, awesome doctor. Thanks. Keto plant-based is my interest. And yes, uh, um, I love food. I'm a vegan cook, so I can't wait to research your dishes. Well, welcome on board. Welcome on board. I look forward to you trying them all too. So, um, okay, Brittany, read on. All right. So first, heat a large nonstick skillet over medium high heat. When the skillet is hot, Add the bacon and cook the, to preferred doneness, chewy or crispy. Remove with a slotted spoon and transfer to a plate lined with a paper towel. Okay, put them all in together. Okay. <laughs> this is the, the scenic route. These, these instructions are the Real scenic time. route. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next, add the chicken to the skillet and season lightly okay. with salt. Cook for five to six minutes until cooked through. Remove from the skillet and set aside with the bacon. Okay. It's going to be, um, they're going to, they're in community. Bacon and chicken today are in community together. They are getting <laughs> together in community. So <laughs> I'll pull up my pants here. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, Amy's laughing that in, in menu pause. Her husband is in menu pause. I love it. Okay, let me get busy on this. Okay. Do you want me to continue on? Uh, let's see. Uh, no, pause. Let's see. Do we have any any comments, questions that have come up in our Keto Green community group? Colleen says she thinks she needs to eat more fat because she's getting hungry before her meals. Mm. And probably more water in between your meals. I did a, a recent reel about... Um, fluid like do not pour water on your meal and if you're drinking it essentially what you're doing so please um pay attention to that stop about 20 minutes before begin about one to two hours after depending on what you're eating and how hard or easy it is to digest so uh pay attention to that 
Colleen says she actually drinks a lot of water. Okay, so then I would add probably more fat, but make sure it's in between your meals, not with your meals, not with your meals. Can you show us your walk? Someone said, or can I really say? Yes. You're, it says it has your uh, name at the bottom left of the corner, and it's just covering up your skillet. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Huh. How can I do that? You can just tilt the camera down a little bit. Just a little. That better? Um, no, that didn't move at all. <laughs> a little better? Hold on. How's that? Just down a little. Oh, you know why? It's because I'm adjusting the wrong camera here. Okay, I don't think I can. Hold on. Okay, Amy says... Amy says that's better for, or yeah, that's better now when you go down with that. Yeah. Okay. Much better. Let's see. Okay. Kelly says that's better. Awesome. So um, what does your mighty maca taste like? It tastes like magic. It tastes like delicious. It really is good. It looks like fear factor, but it's really good. Uh, Marcella said, my husband asked me if I was going through mental pause he meant to say menopause. Oh my gosh, did you tell him Gordian slip? That's so <laughs> funny. Um, Shirley says, Dr. Anna, were you ever influenced by vegan health practices? Um, Shirley, I was a vegetarian for over a decade and um, it wasn't the right plan for me. So I'm an omnivore completely now, but I do have vegan vegetarian plans in my books. So because of that, because I know that... Um, there's a wide variety of ways we can address health. And periodically I do go completely vegan, vegan. Um, regarding keto green shake mix, the question was, is it fine to mix with water or tree uh, milks? Absolutely you can. She's been helping us, Amanda. Huh? Let's see how she's doing. She may be hungry. Oh, I need the Brussels sprouts. Do you know where they are? Did you get Brittany's text? No. Nice two shots. Get the get stuff in. So, all right. So she says I can see. Amy says I can see the whole skillet now. Yeah. So this is my walk that I bought at Bucky's, which is like basically a gas station, but a store, but it's amazing. Um, so mighty maca, what does that taste like? I can put uh bring it up. I think I have that yeah, right here. So Mighty Maca is combined 30 superfoods. It's organic Peruvian maca with 30 superfoods. So turmeric, quercetin, resveratrol, cinnamon, apple fiber, green tea extract, grapeseed extract, amazing antioxidant. It's really, it's really amazing. So Colleen said, is that a cast iron wok? Yeah. So you can see yeah, this is my walk. Oh, I know, super great. great. You can use uh, one can for everything. Yeah, and um, but we do we do have a comment and question from Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer great. says Jennifer says she's noticed a lot of hormonal changes in her skin, her jawline breakouts, etc. Keto Green and now Menu Pause have been her go-to for all things hormonal management. But are there any foods that are particularly helpful? Uh, yeah, definitely. For I mean, first of all, it is getting Keto Green, healing your digestion, healthy digestion for a glowing complexion. And we know, like antioxidants. Some of the things that I recommend, honestly, sushi, seaweed, oysters. Those are some of my favorite. They help with thyroid health. Okay, if you don't have Hashimoto's, if you don't have th high thyroid antibodies, uh, you know, the sushi seaweed, which tend to have some iodine, um, you can incorporate that into, into your diet a little bit more. Antioxidants like blueberries, pomegranates, those are amazing. Certainly Mighty Maca to help with your adrenals, but often that acne. So we look at that and think, okay, is this stress-induced or hormonal-induced? What's going on? 
And zinc is a supplement. So zinc rich foods like oysters are amazing. And um, so zinc rich foods can really help decrease testosterone to dihydrotestosterone, which is a very androgenic testosterone that can contribute to to acne. So you definitely want to look at that. And with skin conditions, go from the inside out. And the Keto Green Cleanse will really, I think that will really support you in getting that cleared up and then supporting with a probiotic, um, supporting your digesting with digestive enzymes. And then, you know, topical, topical, um, really natural ways to clean yourself. Every once in a while I do, you know, mud masks. I do um, hyaluronic acid. I do um, Jessner peels, things like that too can help. It really works from the inside out as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Venus asked, uh, Venus says she's doing the four marker test tomorrow morning. Should she, she's asking if she should fast and take her vitamin D. Um, you should fast and do not take your vitamin D. I typically say, okay, so you took your vitamin D this morning, fine. We'll, we'll keep note of that. But I usually say stop your vitamin D three days before you do a vitamin D blood test. But this is fine. Still do your blood test tomorrow. and uh, But don't take it in the morning. Um, if you're, yeah, so that would be it. And you can, you know, just wait till you're done your blood test for, um, taking your the rest of your vitamins too. I think that's fine. And Amy asks, is it okay to have Mighty Maca on the carb pause diet or should I take a pause on that for six days? Well, try pausing it for three days and see how you do. We're really looking at pausing the, with the carbohydrate pause, we're really looking at pausing the leafy, you know, the leafy greens and I think that like depending on how you do with it. So I would say with that carbohydrate pause, see how you do. You may want to pause uh, the Mighty Maca too, especially if it's something you've been on continuously. Okay, let's see. All right, how are we doing here? Good. Doing, doing good. Doing good. All right. The crew, we're doing uh, for if you're just joining me. Um, just, and if you're just joining me in menu pause, haha. <laughs> if you're just joining me in menu pause, we are doing uh, on page 157 the cruciferous chicken and bacon, chicken and bacon cruciferous stir fry. So making that up here and really having fun. I'm going to be going live on Instagram in a couple minutes with my dear friend, Margaret Romero. So you guys can join me there. Amy said a participant in the community um, and said she can't get into ketosis on car pause and wants to know why she's on day three. It can take a while. If you are metabolically challenged, there can be a few things going on here. If you're metabolically challenged, if you have stress, cortisol increases glucose. Those are things that will impair your ability to get into ketosis. If you're using the test strips and you've been the urine test strips and you've been in ketosis for a long time, check a blood ketone monitor too. Look at it that way as well. The big thing for the um, the big thing is that I really want to focus on that alkalinity more so than anything else. So, um, Mom for Fit asked. Do you, rec do you have recommendations in your hormone fix book for supplements for perimenopause and menopause? I do, and in my Keto Green 16 book, and um, on my website and at my store, those are the things that I use. To be honest, what I use on a regular basis in the mornings, and sometimes now, like I'm going to probably do some now, I've got a late night, so Mighty Maca Plus. I'll drink that 30 over 30 superfoods combined for adaptogenic purposes, alkalinizing and detoxing. So I do this every day. I do my supplement packs. Let me show you. I do my supplement packs. These are my Wonder Woman packs. So we have a basic, um, uh, you know, a medium and a, uh, superwoman uh, vitamin packs. And just a quote that I put on here that I love is this ancient 
proverb that says, when you have your health, you have a thousand wishes. When you don't have your health, you have only one. So that is to get your health back, right? So here are what I take on a daily basis. This is my uh, usually evening bedtime. Um, it's magnesium, vitamin D, and melatonin. And I take it most nights. Sometimes I'll double up and sometimes skip. And then my vitamin pack. So these are my Wonder Woman. And, you know, I don't know. I used to have a lot of jars, to bottles of, of supplements. And so the combination of Mighty Maca, which combines 30 supplements, right? Like all work together better than any individual one by itself. And it's tremendous. And then combining my vitamins. And I like to say, I remember to take them every day. Still an issue. But... Um, this is what I this is what I do. So this is my vitamin regimen, and it's the gold standard. Um, and I combined it here, and that's what I take. And then I have a couple other recommendations. If you're really struggling with hot flashes, you can you can take. Um, I have another supplement um, packs that are combined too to help you to make life easier. But so those are those are my gold standard. Did that answer your question? I was asking. Oh, Fossey said, I love this quote. Um, um, Marcella said, your Mighty Maca has caffeine. It has about the amount of caffeine in one tablespoon of coffee. Um, so I think we measure that out to be 17 milligrams. So very little caffeine, and that would be from the green tea so um, again, very little caffeine in there and, and you don't get the caffeine buzz. So really there's no, I mean, there's no added caffeine and the only thing is the green tea. So uh, mom for fit said, awesome. Thank you. I'm adding items to my cart, hot flashes, mood swings, weight gain. Join us in menu pause. You guys bring your friends into menu pause with you. Mm. All right. Time check for you. It is 29 after the hour. All right, and then we're going to add in some kale, some cauliflower, onions. I've got these ready. Some Brussels sprouts, which I still have to cut, so maybe I'll cut them while I'm talking to Margaret, but I'm still cooking the chicken. You guys, I'll, I'll post a picture on um, my stories when it's all done. Does that sound good? Please um, bring your friends into menu pause with you. Ha! Bring your friends into menu pause with you. You will be more sexy. You will feel more sexy, more energetic. That's our hashtag in our girlfriend doctor um, private membership group, hashtag more sexy. So I, I'm really happy to be here with you and answer questions. Keep going on the journey and sharing in the community group. It's really amazing. We all learn from each other in this process. And I am I'm super, you know, I just am, I feel truly blessed to have all of you working with me along in this journey too. So enjoy yourself. Keep spreading the love. Please post pictures. Tag me at the girlfriend doctor at the girlfriend doctor. Also tag my doctor Anna Kabeca and hashtag menu pause. Brittany will find them and share them in my story so that I'll see them too. So be sure to do that. I really appreciate it. And keep spreading the word about menu pause. Thank you guys. And bon appetit, bon appetit, bon appetit. Sartain is another way to say. All right. Uh, Margaret is like, remember, we have an IG live. Okay. Going. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Brittany.